Hi everyone. First, I want to thank you for joining me today. My name is April Mascara and I'm the content lead at Instabug. We really appreciate your time and interest and I'm excited to share more with you about how Instabug could empower your team and improve your app. So let's get started. I want to start by asking you a question. How many times did you open any mobile app yesterday? Probably more than you care to admit. These days, screen time is at an all-time high, and mobile apps are more important than ever. Now, think about how many glitches, errors, crashes, and other problems you encountered last week. Definitely more than you'd like. No one wants to use an app that doesn't work as expected. In fact, you were probably affected or heard about how some of the top apps like Spotify, TikTok, Pinterest, Google, Tinder, Grubhub, New York Times, Venmo, and Walmart, they were all crashing last week. Now imagine the frustration you felt when you encountered a problem and multiply that by 1 million monthly mobile app users or however many active users your, ha your app has. This is the state of the mobile app industry. Unfortunately, app quality isn't great we regularly experience crashes, poor performance, UI bugs, slow loading times, freezes, and other problems in mobile apps. And honestly, mobile app users deserve better experiences. We can do better, and we should. Frankly, the bar is low. So if you improve your app quality by just 10%, you're already leagues ahead of the competition. Most apps are reactive to problems. Instabug empowers you to be proactive. With Instabug, you get real-time contextual insights throughout an app's entire life cycle when testing, debugging, monitoring, iterating, and engaging. From development to testing to launch and iterations over time, Instabug fits into all these phases delivering real-time contextual insights. Real-time means instant, so you're hearing about issues immediately as they happen. Contextual means in the right place at the right time, so users are sending you feedback right inside your app with minimal friction. And finally, insights are actionable information to help you make smarter decisions. And you're receiving these user-generated insights via Instabug all throughout your mobile development lifecycle from development, QA testing, dog fooding, beta testing, in production, after new releases, and beyond. At the same time, with each of those pieces of user-generated feedback you receive, you get a wealth of background information from Instabug to help your team triage incoming issues, catch problems early, identify solutions, and act quickly. At a click above, if you're managing a portfolio of apps, you also get consolidated reporting about all of those apps in one place on the Instabug dashboard, so you can track and monitor performance and then act appropriately. So in essence, you're moving from slow manual workflows to faster automated processes, from being blind to problems in your app to knowing when problems happen and how to fix them, from being disconnected from your customers to hearing the voice of the customer and having customer empathy, and from having app quality issues and customer churn to having app stability and increased retention. Now, let's narrow in on just one specific example. If you look at a single mobile developer's time, about 50 to 75% is spent debugging. That's the majority of the work week. With Instabug's real-time contextual insights, issues are resolved four times faster, so you're reducing debugging time down to only five to seven hours a week. Now, whether you're a team of one mobile developer or you've got dozens in your company, the ROI here is significant. You're saving time, and time is money, 
but also your developers get to focus on work that is fulfilling and impactful, which is definitely a positive motivator. When you're in a reactive state without Instabug, your developers are spending most of their time debugging. You only hear feedback when users are very upset. When you ask for feedback via email, you get very little replies. When a crash happens, your support channels get clogged, and those very upset users are leaving negative comments on the app stores. On the other hand, when you're getting real-time contextual insights with Instabug, you're resolving issues four times faster, your app users are sending you 750% more feedback because there's a super easy and quick way to do so from right inside your app, you're achieving 99.9% .9 crash-free sessions, and those negative reviews are reduced by 80% because you're getting feedback privately. When you look at the market, Instabug is the best-in-class solution for bug and crash reporting. To date, Instabug has touched about 2.5 billion devices through 25,000 apps with 700 million issues resolved. But we still have more work to do. There are billions of apps out there. And as we saw earlier, the bar is low when it comes to app quality. So Instabug is here to help. Now, let me show you what the experience is like for an end user or a user of your app. This is an example from House Party, which currently uses Instabug in production. To give feedback, users can shake their phones and this modal appears. They tap report a bug and fill out the feedback form with their comment. A screenshot is automatically attached that they can annotate, or they can take a new screen recording or add a file from their library. They tap send and that's it. It only takes a shake of their phone and two taps for an app user to share their feedback. Intuitive and seamless. Now, here's what you'll see on the other side. This is the bug and feedback page of the Instabug dashboard. Here is where you'll see the comments and screenshots that users send, along with a wealth of other information, including device and environment details that will be important for testers and developers to know. You'll also get visual repro steps that show about 20 screenshots showing that user's actions up to sending their feedback. These are incredibly useful for reproducing issues. There's also a session profiler that shows data from the 60 seconds before the user sent the feedback, covering the top reasons for app errors, including memory, storage, network connectivity, battery, and orientation. You'll also get comprehensive logs, from console logs to custom user events to network logs and more. All of this information helps resolve app issues dramatically faster. From here, your team can set a status for this issue, assign it to a colleague, note the priority, and forward it to your other tools. We have integrations with all the top project management, productivity, and support tools so that your team can maintain their workflows. You can also reply to the user who submitted the feedback, and they'll receive your message in your app. Saved replies and the ability to add action buttons to your chat also help speed up your response workflow so you can close the loop quickly. So that was a glimpse at Instabug's bug reporting product. Instabug also offers crash reporting. This is the crashes page. Here, you'll see your app's performance over the past week, including crash-free sessions, total sessions, crashing sessions, and affected users, as well as a list of all the crashes. You'll also see the severity of each crash, so you can quickly identify the most important ones to fix immediately. 
In the crash page, you'll be able to view which OS versions, app versions, and devices were affected by the crash, as well as stack trace information. And you can also view all occurrences of a crash and view each one separately, along with device, environment, and session details, as well as logs. You can reply to individual affected users to let them know that you fixed the crash, for example. And you can also reply to all affected users. Instabug also offers surveys and feature requests. With Instabug's in-app surveys, you have a few options. There's an NPS survey to measure user loyalty and satisfaction, the app rating survey to identify happy users and then ask them to rate your app, and custom surveys where you can build your own survey and mix and match question and answer types. Now here's an NPS survey. It consists of two standard questions which you can edit. You can also choose to ask passives and or promoters to rate you in the App Store. And you can also create localized surveys which will be sent to users with the appropriate locale. To show surveys to specific cohorts of users, you can target your users based on various default attributes and you can also create your own custom attributes. You can also set when users see your survey, right after starting their session or after a custom event occurs, and you can also set frequency. You have the option to show your survey to specific users based on their email addresses by uploading a CSV file, and for ultimate control, you can use a token in your code to show your survey. After setting your targeting conditions, you'll review your survey and then publish right from the dashboard. No code changes or releases needed. In your survey results page, you'll get analytics on how many users saw and responded to your survey, as well as a breakdown for each question and a list of your users who responded. You'll also be able to reply to those respondents, respondents if you'd like. Instabug also offers feature requests. This is a list of proposed features that your users can add, vote, and comment on right inside your app. Here's what it looks like on the dashboard side. You can add items to the list for your users to vote on. And you can also view each feature request individually and the comments on those features. You can also set a status to update users and keep them engaged. With Instabug, you can also send in-app announcements to your users. You can send an alert about what's new in your latest app version, and you can send a prompt to users to update to your newest version. This is a what's new announcement. You can add multiple items to the announcement as well as icons for each item. This alerts your app users about new features you've released as well as lets them know you've fixed outstanding issues. Similar to surveys, you can target this announcement with certain conditions to show only specific users on certain versions and you can publish it immediately from the dashboard without any code changes. You'll also be able to see analytics of how many users saw your announcement and a list of which users saw it. Now I'd like to show you a click above. For those of you who are managing multiple apps and are looking for a bird's eye view of performance across your portfolio of mobile apps. In the Instabug dashboard, you'll find insights pages. Here, you'll see an overview of all of the bug reports, suggestions for improvement, and questions that you've received over time. You'll also see the number of unique users who've sent feedback and a list of your top reporters. You'll get a comparison of reports across different app versions, categories, 
and your custom tags. You'll also see how many reports your team closed and replied to, and how long it took to close an issue and to reply to users. In the App Stability page, you can filter by time and app versions, like all the other Insights pages, and you can see your crash-free sessions over time. The total crashes and total affected users, as well as your crash occurrences across versions. In Customer Satisfaction, you can see your average NPS score with a breakdown of detractors, passives, and promoters. And there's only one data point in this graph, but with more surveys, you'd be able to see how customer satisfaction has changed over time. And you'll also get a snapshot of your most recent NPS surveys. In the Releases Insights page, you can compare performance of your app across versions, seeing high-level details for each app version you've released with Instabug. So instead of having to look for all this info in different places for different versions, you've got all this data consolidated in one place. And if you have apps on multiple platforms, you can see an overview of all of them here. Instead of having to look up and export data from the App Store and Google Play, everything you need is right here in your Instabug dashboard. We support iOS, Android, React Native, Xamarin, Cordova, and Flutter. You can experience these products for yourself by signing up for a free 14-day trial on our website, and we're happy to extend that for you if you need more time as well. Now, I'd love to share a couple of real-world examples with you of how our users are making the most out of Instabug's real-time contextual insights. The first example is an app that uses Instabug for beta testing. They have a sophisticated beta program with hundreds of beta testers who help crowd test their app. And they use Instabug to collect bug reports and prevent costly errors from making it into production. With Instabug, they've cut multiple steps from their old bug reporting and beta testing workflows, so they're working faster and smarter. Before Instabug, when a beta tester wanted to report a bug, they'd have to take a screenshot, log into Facebook, go to their beta testing Facebook group, upload that screenshot, explain the problem, and then wait for someone to reach out to them. And then they would go back and forth to find out different details like device, um, the steps they took leading up to the bug, network connection, etc. Instabug revolutionized this entire process, making it easier for testers to report bugs. So they received more feedback along with Instabug's comprehensive background data, which made it faster for developers to identify the problem and fix it. In addition to finding errors, by using Instabug in their beta program, this app is also able to collect feedback on new features they're testing in their beta builds. Another example I'd like to share is how an enterprise company uses us in one of their live apps. They use Instabug crash reporting. With Instabug, they achieved 99.9% .9 crash free sessions in their Android app and reduced crashes by a factor of five in their iOS app and got a 1.88 a 1 increase in their App Store rating. And that was just after one release with Instabug. They also started using Instabug to collect feedback about new features they're testing in production as well as to collect general feedback about the app. So with all of Instabug's real-time contextual insights, their metrics continued to improve. 
One thing they were looking for in particular was security and privacy. They had a number of enterprise requirements that we worked with them to meet, and we built a private standalone instance for their backend services. And now, since we've already gone through their security and privacy compliance for third-party vendors, we're working with them to scale use of Instabug across all their apps. Finally, I want to show you a few more examples of how Instabug shows up in other apps. Here's an example from Freshly, the meal delivery service. I have to say their food is delicious. In addition to bug and crash reporting, they've also used Instabug to send in-app surveys to their users in order to do product research. They used to send surveys via email and they'd get around two, three, maybe 5% response rates. With Instabug's in-app surveys, they achieved a 50% response rate for this survey because it was sent to users contextually right inside their app so they could control who saw it instead of emails where you're just hoping people will just open it. The in-app survey was also unobtrusive, frictionless, and quick and simple to complete. Rather than surveys that are sent as separate links that users have to navigate to a new window to fill out. This is Track It, an awesome tracking app where you can track literally anything, and I love it. So Instabug is, is accessed from the settings menu by tapping feedback. Through Instabug, I'm able to report bugs and have conversations with the developer right inside the app without having to use email. And he can follow up with me for more information to better understand the issue. Instabug isn't only used for consumer facing apps, we're also useful for B2B apps as well. Monday is a project management tool that's fantastic for organizing work among a team. They use Instabug in their mobile app. Instabug is actually accessible from two different places. From the main hamburger menu, you tap contact us, and also from a project screens overflow menu. Users can send feedback from these multiple entry points, which reflects how important customer feedback is for Monday and reveals how customer centric they are. Finally, Crunchbase has a very simple and straightforward implementation. Instabug is accessed from the overflow menu by tapping suggest improvement, and that opens the Instabug feedback form directly. So as you can see, there are several different ways that Instabug's products are used from all phases of the development lifecycle across multiple use cases to achieve different goals. And the Instabug dashboard gathers all those real-time contextual insights in one place so you can monitor performance and improve the quality of your apps. So we're almost at 30 minutes and I want to be respectful of your time and I'll wrap things up. Thank you again for being here. I so appreciate it. You'll be getting a recording of this webinar sent to you as well. And if you have any questions or comments, please reach out. I hope you all have a great rest of your day wherever you are. Be safe, be well, and take care.